For your experiment, you will need cotton wool balls, a jug of water, a plastic cup, a glass cup or jar, a pin, and optional blue food colouring. Morning STEM families. Today, we're going to do a lovely experiment called raining cotton wool balls. So the first thing we're going to do is take our plastic cup and our pin and we're going to poke holes in the bottom and we're going to poke holes in the bottom of our cup. So this is a really good job for the grown-ups. So once we're happy and we've got enough holes, we're then going to fill our plastic cup with cotton wool balls. And these are going to represent clouds. So let's get them pushed down. Fabulous. I'm then going to take my water and add a little bit of blue food colouring. This is not essential to the experiment, so don't worry if you haven't got any food colouring, it won't really make a difference. So then we take our glass jar and we put in our plastic cup and our cotton wool balls that are our clouds and then we start to pour in the water now when a cloud becomes too heavy with water it rains this is called precipitation and this is what's going to happen with our cotton wool balls so once they become saturated and too heavy can you see it's starting to rain and because of gravity it pulls the water down that's pretty impressive isn't it and then another clever trick that we can do is if we cover the whole of the plastic cup with our hand it then stops raining and that is because the air pressure is stronger than gravity it's a really fun quick experiment so have a go at home and then you can learn all about clouds and rain Thank you.